Hey everybody, welcome back to the Clown Show. We are just about ready to start the Wild West Zones. Race 2 of Series 1 in our little collective, uh... Collection? Collective collection? Of Zones. Uh, zones 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, and 14 all put together and uh, racing uh, PCA uh, Sport and PCA Challenge all in one race in the roof. So, uh, fun, uh, fun race, fun racetrack. Um, definitely a lot of competition here. Um, we've actually uh, been doing practice. Practice has actually been fairly close. Um, a lot of uh, folks into the 129s and uh, of course, uh, Chris is uh, dominating us as he usually does by darn near uh, six tenths of a second um, to the closest person behind him, which happens to be me, which is just luck. I put in a lot of laps at this track, so uh, I feel like I'm definitely reaping the benefit of having driven the Mazda around here and I racing official races for a lot of time. Um, and I seem to be enjoying the roof quite a bit. Um, I'm not sure um, if it's just, uh, it feels familiar somehow. Um, I have a 997 myself, so maybe there's a little bit of that. But I uh, just really am enjoying driving this particular car much better than I enjoy driving the uh, Cayman GT4 in PCA Sim Racing Series 5. Um, I uh, was in Prelude on Wednesday, um, and although Chris did not show up, or probably because Chris did not show up, um, I uh, I actually wound up winning, um, which was was pretty pretty awesome. I think Randall would have given me a good run for my money. Um, he's showing up as Pandal tonight due to a, a fat fingering of his name, I think, by uh, by one of our admin putting in the nicknames so that we could see the class designations. Um, but Randall uh, was, uh, he qualified in pole position for the Prelude and um, wound up getting caught up, I think, in somebody else's mess. The RSRs were running with us and uh, the back of the pack of the RSRs had a rough uh, turn one and uh, he wound up spinning out. Um, I got collected in that, but he, I think, was uh, a little bit worse for the wear. Um, and uh, I was able to get ahead of the pack and uh, stay that way for uh, a good, uh, good chunk of the race. Uh, made a couple of mistakes, but they didn't cost me a whole lot and was able to uh, to finish in first place by 23 seconds. Um, but again, not everybody was there, um, and uh, tonight's an entirely different night, so we'll have to see how it goes tonight. I do hope that you uh, are uh, on and joining me. I just actually uh, took a peek and saw that somebody had joined the YouTube link, but uh, um, disconnected, so maybe they'll come back a little bit later. Um, we have a open qualification that will be starting in five minutes and I'm probably going to hang out and wait for that at this point uh, rather than get out and uh, mix with the crowd too much at this stage. I'll have plenty of that during qualifying and during the race. Um, uh, I've gone out and uh, put in some laps, uh, put in about 22 laps tonight, um, just sort of warming up and getting, getting myself uh, collected and uh, I'm pretty consistent in the 130. Uh, range, which is is nice. Um, it's comforting to know that um, I'm developing some consistency in my lap times. Um, not the fastest guy on track, but uh, the consistency actually will pay dividends because uh, if uh, even if the person on on track uh, puts in a fast lap that's faster than yours, um, if you collectively have a higher average uh, uh, or lower average lap time um, over the course of the race, uh, that can can uh, lead to a victory as well. So. Um, I don't know. I, 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 have, I have more confidence coming into the night than I think I have in any previous race that I've driven. Um, but, of course, that can all end in turn one. So, <laughs> we're turn two, as it did last week, uh, unfortunately. Uh, my turn two uh, last week, uh, I was hit from behind um, and wound up uh, knocked out completely out of the race after, after the, the second lap. So, uh, that was disappointing because Laguna Seca is actually one of my favorite racetracks um, and uh, it was the first one on our schedule for Wild West Zones, and uh, I thought I, I really uh, could have done well in that race, um, but wound up uh, getting hit, and, and it just wasn't meant to be. So uh, I'm going to come out here and make the best showing I can tonight and uh, see what I can make up for uh, in terms of uh, results for the entire season. Maybe Laguna will be my worst race. Who knows? 
Um, Friday the 13th, happy Friday the 13th. Um, if any of you are superstitious out there, I gotta tell you, Friday the 13th are always great days for me. Um, I always have uh, good things happen, sometimes unexpectedly. Um, and uh, I hope uh, that uh, that this will uh, will be the thing um, for my Friday the 13th is uh, is a, as a, as a nice uh, podium at least um, in terms of this race. As you probably are aware, um, Porsche Club of America um, does a lot of different things, and of course, in the pandemic era, um, we've uh, built this very very good national group of folks that are sim racing on the iRacing platform, which is what we're doing here tonight, and uh, we're just now uh, beginning to break that national conglomeration up a little bit into the zones, doing some grassroots stuff a little bit closer to home with guys that we're likely to see in real life. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Got another uh, minute and a half here and then we'll start open qualification and I'll put my head down and uh, we'll get into it. But uh, hopefully this has given you a little bit of insight into what we're doing and why. One of the challenges on Wednesday night, uh, slow traffic. Um, and that's actually the first time that I've actually had a race where that was truly a problem is that uh, some of the guys um, are still getting the, the wheels on, pun intended, um, uh, in terms of their racecraft and uh, feeling in control. And uh, that actually caught me out. Uh, I pitted um, in kind of the, the tail end of my pit window um, as I was actually only had maybe uh, a couple of gallons left in the tank and just happened to have uh, one of the slower guys that had taken a pit just before me and was exiting just as I was trying to leave. And uh, uh, I mishandled the situation. I, I think he was trying to let me by and I misread it and uh, wound up uh, getting on my brakes and spinning. Um, I, I thought that it had really cost me um, the, the race win at that point, uh, but uh, it turned out that uh, the guy in front of me had not pitted yet, so I got lucky. But uh, I need to to manage that situation a lot better, read that a lot more clearly, um, without being overly aggressive to just sort of, you know, take my space and, and make it work. So it looks like it's time to qualify. So I'm going to go on ahead and get my gloves on and push the button and get into qualification mode and try to get out there and put in some nice high quality laps. This is a little bit different, and unlike most of the iRacing series that you probably are familiar with, we uh, where you actually go out and qualify by yourself. We're doing group qualification, which means everybody's going to be out on track and we get uh, the full 15 minutes. Two, three. To, uh, to put in some laps. And that means kind of figuring out how to space ourselves and get that taken care of. Thanks, Leon. Six, five, four, three, two. Delta to liter 2.203. Five, 
He's not gonna let me buy. Four, three, two, one. Two. Yeah, thank you, Michael. Three. Hey, sorry about that. Two. One. Two. Three. Thanks, Andy. Three. Four. Three. Two. Three. Delta to leader 1.955. Delta Three. to leader 0.022. Zero zero two two. Three, four, three, two. 
three. One. Go right, Jammer. Two. Three. Damn it. That's twice. I can't start that trend. One. Pit tag six clear. Two. Three. Sorry about that. Thank you, Armando. to leader 5.319. Six off the pace. Five. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Three. 
four, five, four, three, Delta two, three. Three. one point three one two. On your left, Jeff. Got that quickly. Sorry, Andy, if I shut you down there. Sector 3 is 0.3 off the base. Sorry about that, Chip. <sighs> oh, that's okay. No worries. But as a general rule, if you pick a side, stay there, and the faster guy will go around you. Yeah, I was actually taking a drink and wasn't even looking, so it's really my bad. I'm just going to blame you for not getting pole position, that's all. <laughs> Shouldn't wait till the last lap, Jeff. I know, I know. Sorry, Mike, go ahead and move this. I'm uh, trying to figure it out. P3. Okay, Jeff, are you ready? Watch for the lights. Green, green, green. Five, 
Delta to meter 137.630. Delta to liter 0.578. Delta to liter 0.490. We think our refueling window will open after 16 minutes. It should close at about 28 minutes. to liter 0.402.
five. Delta to liter 0.550. is now 1.0 is now 1.1 seconds. Four, three, Delta to liter 0.331. Delta to liter 0.493. Sector 1 is 0.9 off the pace. Thank you. Five. The gap Thank ahead you. is now 2.1 seconds. Four, three, two. Sector 2 is two tenths off the pace. Two. 
three. Delta to liter 0.974. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you. Yep, all good. God damn it. Two. One. Two. Three. That's you in the street. Thank you. Five. Four. Three. Delta Eight four. Leader four point five eight three. It's now 87 Fahrenheit. Four, three, two. You've used half your fuel. There I was letting traffic get in my head again, and uh, it's fucking put me in fourth place. Three, Damn it. Four, three, two. One seconds. Four, three. Thank you, Andy. Delta to leader three point three eight seven. All good. Four. Thanks, Armando. Sorry, it took me a while. Four, three. Four, 
Delta you've just done a 30.7. Four, three. AM that was at 30.5. Four. The gap ahead is now 4.3 seconds. Four, three. Chip, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Four, three, two. In front has just done a 129.8. Delta three. to leader 0 0.143. Sector 3 time is fast. That's 20 minutes to go, 20 minutes. Okay, Chip, we're halfway Four. home. We estimate 8 minutes of fuel remaining. 5, 4, 3, This guy, the gap's now 3.9 seconds. Four, three. Delta to leader 0 0.392. Sector three times okay. Five. 
four, three, two. Thank you, appreciate it. 1,407. Mm. We're just speed limit in the pits. Your lane speed limit is 37 miles per hour. 1,100. 900. Okay, Jeff. We'll pull you to the end. Box in 830 feet. 600. 500. 400. 300. 300 feet. 200. 100. 100 feet. 0. 1. Car behind pitting. Not very good there on the turn. My apologies. Did you get caught up in something? There's traffic behind. Watch your mirrors. Delta to leader 31.399. On your left, Alex. Five. Go ahead. I'm at right. <laughs> Delta to leader four point seven nine eight. Get a pit in this time, Chip. Two. Roger that. Three, four. Four, 
three, two. Delta to leader 2.439. Off the base. Five. Four. Three. Two. Go right, Alex. Thank you. Chip, 10 minutes to go, that's 10 minutes left. Three seconds. Four. Five. Four. Delta to leader three. one point three five seven. These guys are going to go at it. Five. Four. Three. Two.
three. Delta P trigger zero point eight four six. some opportunity. Four, three, two. It's now 91 Fahrenheit. Two, three. Four. Five. Delta to leader 3.085. to go. You're looking good for a podium. Three. Four. Three. Two. Delta to three. leader 11.669. Sector 3 is 2.8 seconds off the pace. seconds off the pace. Four. Five. The 
gap in front has increased to 18 Del seconds. Del second leader 7.532. On your right. Okay, Jeff, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Sector 3 is 1.3 seconds off the pace. Sorry, guys. Five. That's five minutes of fuel left. Four, three, two. Two minutes left. left, two minutes to go. Likewise, nice driving. Yeah, I, um, when you asked if I got caught up in something, there was a, uh, I think Ed got caught up in a spin, and it was yellow, and there was some uh, back marker traffic, so I didn't want to pass. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Great race, guys. Thank you. I, uh, I lost you guys when I caught somebody getting a bad re-entry and I hit them. Four. Yeah, I saw that. You know, it was right in front of me. That's, uh, that was too bad. Yeah, I, uh, I uh, boneheaded a couple of times there and got on the gas too early and that was that. Five. Yeah, I think my car is like seriously broken, but I drove it the last four laps like this. <laughs> Four, three, yeah, we got two, that traffic, and I thought I might have a shot at Chris there at the end again, and uh, I got through him, and then I got excited, stepped up the gas, and spun right in front of him. Oh, darn. Three. Yeah, that got interesting. Jeff and I were fighting for eighth and ninth, and one and two came right up on us, and we were all fighting for position. Chip, I thought you were gonna get me on that outlap. I was all over the place, man. I I was close 1, to getting you. If I was a better driver, I'd have the pitch speed limit. One thousand three hundred. One thousand one hundred. One thousand. 
Yeah, I got pushed behind me on top of the traffic. And he just, I don't know, he probably made it four seconds on a, one lap on me. Got right behind me. And uh, I got feet. out of rhythm. Went down one too many gears. One hundred feet. Gas, and right I went. Zero. Yeah, uh, Chris, by the way, that was one of the best outlaps I've seen. Uh, I mean, you, you were on the edge, man, but you, you had me beat hard. It was good. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. All right. Well, that was actually a fun race. Um, thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, lots of fun. Um, and uh, podium isn't bad. Third place. So, uh, woohoo. Um, hopefully, I'll just continue to improve. Maybe could have done better, but um, third place I'll definitely take, considering that's where I started and uh, definitely had a couple of fast guys in front of me. So I think it finished as it should have um, and as uh, as it probably would have um, on Wednesday had Chris been uh, in. Um, I probably would not have won Prelude because uh, Chris is really fast. Anyway, um, thank you very much for joining me and have a great night. Um, again, this has been uh, the Wild West Zones of Porsche Club of America, sim racing. And uh, we were at Oka, Okayama next week. Uh, we're at Lime Rock Park. Lime Rock Park is always an adventure. It's a short track, fast track, um, and should be a lot of fun with both uh, the roofs. And uh, on Wednesday, the RSRs are going to be with us for the prelude. So uh, that would be that would be something definitely to see, I think. So uh, if you want to, uh, please join us. Thank you. Uh, we start at 7.30 Pacific um, on both Wednesdays and Fridays. So uh, join us and uh, have a little bit of fun. Thank you. Good night. It would be absolutely unfair to just squeak off without thanking the people that make my racing possible. I want to first thank Nicole and Mackenzie for supporting me. Home is where the heart is, and uh, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have their support. They let me come in here, close my door, and uh, do my own thing uh, without disturbance, which is always nice, and dinner's always ready for me at the end of a race. Can't beat that. Also want to thank the folks at SpyCloud, always uh, very supportive. In fact, uh, they, uh, they some of them watched uh, the stream tonight, which was kind of exciting. So thank you guys very much. I appreciate your support. PCA Sim Racing and the Steering Committee, all the race participants, everyone involved, top-notch organization and a lot of fun. Really, really can't say how much fun a good league is in iRacing. If you've ever participated in iRacing before, you know that uh, sometimes the racing isn't always great. Um, you get some uh, bad behavior on track and all sorts of other sort of shenanigans and you know, we have our problems. It's like a, a family, right? We we have little, uh, um, uh, little bit of elbowing, a little bit of shoving now and again, but all in all, great group of guys and we're committed to working it out and racing clean, racing like gentlemen. So uh, a great organization. So PCA Sim Racing, if you're a PCA member and you aren't sim racing, you want to look into it. Definitely do that because it's really, it's a lot of fun. It's not quite the real thing, but it's uh, it's a pretty good uh, good simulation. And then, of course, uh, the Redwood region of the Porsche Club of America and Zone 7. Thank you very much for letting me fly your colors. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Bye-bye.